Uh, this is a really interesting paper um, also for me personally as the, the chairman here uh, because it is a great example of a policy that was intended, uh, that, that was presumably implemented with great intentions, but uh, then uh, backfired. So what's the background? Uh, the background is that if you think about many skilled uh, uh, professions, uh, uh, many skilled professional occupations, there's often a period of uh, uh, in, in, in the early career where you have to invest a lot in you know, career progression, where you have to you know, work really hard, and then at some point there's going to be an up or out decision. So you can think about uh, associates at law firms, you can think about uh, residents at a hospital, uh, but you can also think about untenured uh, professors or assistant professors um, at, uh, at many departments. And uh, a, a common worry in that regard is that you know, such kind of career paths uh, put women uh, at a particular disadvantage because uh, you know, often uh, they uh, are at a time when uh, uh, you know, women also want to have children or families also want to have children and then the worry is you know, if you um, uh, have kids and have to raise kids uh, during a time that's so important for your career, then this is going to just put you at a disadvantage. So what's the solution? Uh, many universities, in particular in the US, um, um, decided that what they're going to do is they're going to um, add an extra year to your tenure clock, so give you more time to uh, satisfy the tenure requirements uh, if you're an assistant professor. Um, if you have a child. The problem though is in the US, you, um, I think for legal reasons, you can't just offer this to women, but you have to, have to offer this uh, uh, universally. So basically, whoever self-designates as the primary caregiver of a child um, will then also get, uh, get the year off. And, and now you can see uh, where this is going because people are not really getting a year off, um, but uh, you know, they're basically just getting uh, uh, an extra year on the tenure clock. And what happens in practice, of course, is that many women um, actually need to take the uh, year off because they have to, they, they have actual uh, child-rearing responsibilities, but oftentimes, and I saw this uh, uh, myself at my previous university, you know, men kind of claim they're the primary caregivers, no one uh, checks this, uh, they just come to the office and they just uh, work a little bit longer. So what they do in this paper here is they study the top 50 economics departments in the U.S. between 1980 and 2005 and uh, find that this policy completely backfired. So it actually made it 17% more likely for men to get tenure and 19% less likely for women uh, to get tenure. And the mechanism is simply top five publications, so the best publications that, uh, that, that we have, and men just ended up having more time to do this. So the good news is that here in Switzerland, we're not forced to um, offer this uh, uh, equally. So we, we have this uh, additional year on the tenure clock, but we only have it for women, uh, exactly inspired by uh, this paper.